Did you know that Eco Runner shell this year is less than 30 kilograms and that it's more aerodynamic than any production car? Today we are at our production location Poly Products in Werkendam and we will be taking a look at how we achieve this. Let's go! Hey Carolina! Hi Victoria! How are you? I'm good, thank you. And you? Good. Can you tell us how we start? Yes, of course. So this is the most important material we use, which is carbon fiber. And we use it because it's very strong and lightweight. Um, and we can see the fibers are all interwoven with each other. So it creates a very flexible sheet. OK, so this material looks very flexible, but how do we get it strong for the car? Right. So actually, we use the material called prepreg, which means that the resin is already infused in it. So then all we do is we apply vacuum to it and we cure it in the oven um, to obtain the desired strength and weight of the material. And we do this four times. And then we can actually see one example of an end result here. So, you know, you can even like, it's really strong, you know, so this is the end result after going to the oven. Oh, wow. Yeah. And I see a lot of separate elements in here. Can you tell me what they are? Yeah, so these are actually all the doors and panels of the car. And we decide to do them beforehand because we can, uh, by laying the pre-pre carbon fiber on top of here, we create a flange. And so at the end of the process, we just glue all these panels to the shell through this flange and we make sure there's no gaps. So the shell will be as aerodynamic as possible. Wow, so after the carbon pre prick layup and the smooth shell, are we done? Well, actually, no. I forgot to mention that the shell does experience a lot of stresses in certain parts of the car, so we have to reinforce it. But Sam can tell you more about that. Hey, Sam. Hey, Victoria. We just learned that the car experiences different stresses. Can you tell us some more about that? Uh, during our design phase, we mapped out potential forces. And using finite element method, we calculate the stresses in the car, where red stresses are high stresses and blue stresses are low stresses. And using the fan, we could uh, determine where we really needed reinforcement. So what does this reinforcement look like? Um, I have an example right here. Uh, although you cannot see it when the car is finished, we make use of a sandwich construction where we use carbon, adhesive and a honeycomb shaped material called Nomex. Due to its hexagonal shape, it improves the bending stiffness of the carbon at a low weight cost. Okay, so do you use this everywhere? Not everywhere. We mainly use it in the floor, for example under the driver's seat or beneath the tank in the car. So what happens next? After we're done laying up all the pre prep and having the honeycomb where we want it. We're gonna vacuum the mold, cure it in the oven, after which the shell is finished and assemble it back in the dream hall. Okay, thank you, Sam. I'll leave you to it. We are looking forward to the end result. In just a few weeks, we will start putting together the parts of the Eco 14 and we will start driving. Stay tuned for more insights and developments of the Eco 14.